Worldwide, 350,000 new cases of renal cancer are diagnosed every year, 80% of which are clear cell renal carcinoma. Risk factors include tobacco smoking, hypertension, obesity and certain genetic conditions. Diagnosis is increasingly incidental through imaging performed for unrelated reasons. This earlier diagnosis is causing a grade and stage migration. Only 30% of renal cancers are diagnosed on symptoms. Physical signs are uncommon and usually indicate advanced disease. 17% of patients have metastases at presentation. Imaging in renal cancer is used to stage disease and plan treatment. Radical nephrectomy was historically the standard of care. However, advances in surgical technology have led to increased use of conservative techniques. Nephron sparing surgery is now recommended as the treatment of choice where possible. The approach depends on tumor characteristics and surgical expertise. Minimally invasive techniques are increasingly used, although data on long-term cancer control are less well established. Patients with metastatic renal cancer are treated with cytoreductive nephrectomy. Historically, systemic immune modulators were used with modest results. The development of targeted biological drugs has been the main advance in the last decade. Active surveillance is also increasing for small incidental tumours diagnosed in the elderly. In the near future, we expect biomarkers, advances in surgical techniques and systemic therapies to improve cancer control.